Let's move on. Case number four. 85-year-old male patient, known COPD, presented to ED with severe shortness of breath and infective exacerbation of COPD. Is this common? Yes. 12 lady ECG was done because the heart rate was 120 and this was the ECG. Who is gonna tell me about this ECG? Okay, any other suggestions? How would you describe this ECG? Narrow complex or broad complex? Narrow. Regular or irregular? Tacky or bratty or normal? Probably on the tacky side because heart rate was 120. So narrow complex, irregularly irregular tachycardia. What is this? Can you see any P waves? Then is this AF? Then what is this? <laughs> Great. So some of you are saying AF, some of you are saying MAT. Let's talk about this. AF versus MAT. What is MAT? MAT stands for multifocal atrial tachycardia. This is something that's been first reported in 1968. And basically it describes a rapid irregular atrial rhythm arising from multiple ectopic foci within the atria. And it most commonly seen with patients with severe COPD or congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema type of thing. So it's, uh, it's related to a severe respiratory distress. And it's typically a transitional rhythm. Either it will go back to sinus or will carry on to be a proper AF or atrial flutter. Okay? What will the ECG show? It will show what you've just said. So tachycardia, I mean, T by the way in MAT stands for tachycardia, so heart rate would be above 100. Irregularly regular rhythm. Variable PP interval, PR interval and RR interval with an isoelectric baseline between the, uh, the P wave. So the, everything will be variable, PP interval, PR interval, RR interval. But the most important feature that you will need to be aware of is going through the P waves, you should be able to count more than three different shapes of P waves in the same lead. If you cannot do this, then probably it's not mat. So, let's have a look at this example. Are we narrow complex? Yes. Irregularly irregular? Tachycardia? Yes. Okay, P waves. One shape, different, third, fourth, mat. Another example, narrow complex, irregularly irregular, tacky. P waves, let's have a look. One, one, two, three, four, five. Matt. Mechanism not clear, so let's come up with theories. So some said, well, it is because of the hypoxia, because this patient is COPD. Some said, no, 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 it's the hypercapnia that is causing this. Some said, no, you're both wrong. Actually, it is the uh, drugs that you're giving. Uh, you're giving uh, beta-2 agonist, so that is irritating the, the atria. And they said, no, 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 actually, it's not this or that. It is the hypokalemia that is happening because what you're giving as beta-2 agonist to correct the hypoxia. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> so theories. So my decision is, you know what? When you make up your mind, let me know. So, fine. So, is it important to know about MAT? Yes, I'm afraid. So, usually it occurs in, in, in serially ill uh, elderly patients. So you can consider it a sign of a poor prognosis. So when you see MAT, be worried that your patient is not quite right. And death, when it happens, it happens because of the underlying illness, not because of MAT itself. MAT will not kill you. It is what caused the MAT. How do we treat it? Treat the cause. So it is never about the MAT, it's about the underlying cause. Treat the COPD, MAT will fix itself. Treat the pulmonary edema, MAT will fix itself. So, and it's usually a transitional rhythm that doesn't last for long. But what if, so it is, it is rarely life-threatening, and we said that, but the question is, what if you get it wrong? What if you think this is AF? What will you do? You will have a patient with fast AF. What do you do for fast AF patients? 
rate control, rhythm control, and if you're not sure, you're going to rate control. How do you rate control them? Beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, COPD, heart failure, bad idea. Then what are you going to do? Digoxin. Digoxin sounds like a great idea because digoxin has got negative chronotropic effect, so it will decrease the rate. Positive inotropic effect, so actually it will increase the contractility, so it will fix the heart failure. Yeah, I like the idea. And how about DC cardioversion? Remember, this is an AF patient with pulmonary edema. Chicken and the egg. Is it AF decompensated caused pulmonary edema? So that's a decompensated AF, so you'll need to cardiovert. Or actually, it is pulmonary edema caused AF. And you will be in that vicious circuit, and then you will, might decide that I'm going to do a DC cardioversion. Right? So now we're left with two options that we might use. We might give digoxin, and we might give a shock. Does that make sense? This is if we miss the mat and think it is AF. Happy? Good. Digoxin, <laughs> fatal. Death has been reported with excessive digoxin. So uh, it will not fix the problem, and it will increase the mortality. So please don't do this. Let's stick to the DC shock. Contraindicated. <laughs> okay. So two tachyarrhythmias, you never shock. Sinus tachy and mat. OK? Because what you will do is you will, uh, you will not gain any benefits from the DC shock, and you will just gain the side effects, the, the problems, the risks, the complications of the sedation and cardioversion. So by all means, it's contraindicated. So what do we do with MET? We diagnose it first, and then we treat the cause for it, and then problem solve. So narrow complex, yes or no? OK. Irregular? Yes. Tachycardia? Yes. OK. P waves? No. What's this? Can you count? Well, what do you think? OK. So what is this? Can you count more than three different shapes? No. Uh, no. They all look the same. So this is not mat. This is this is atrial flutter with variable block. Okay. So atrial flutter with variable conduction. How about this one? Narrow complex. Narrow complex. Yes. Good. Irregular. Okay. Uh, tacky, in some places. Kind of a hot. I mean a hundred here. Uh, P waves? Okay, what's this? So what's this rhythm? That narrow complex irregular tachycardia with P waves. Sinus arrhythmia, well done. This is, uh, this is sinus arrhythmia. Is this a pathological thing? thing? No. no, this is a physiological thing. This is not a patient, this is a relative of a patient who wanted to have an ECG. <laughs> So this is normal physiological phenomena. Normally, when you breathe in, you will increase the negativity in your chest. So the venous return will increase. More blood will go to your right side of the heart. The, there will be a stretch to the right atrium, stretch to the SA node, increase contractility to get rid of this extra blood. So when you breathe in, your heart rate goes fast. When you breathe out, your heart rate goes slow. Normal physiological phenomena. So this patient is. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. This patient is slightly tachypneic. OK? So this is sinus arrhythmia. Don't touch. So the narrow complex, tachycardia, you can split them. Those are the six major ones that you, you must know. You've got regular three and irregular three. The irregular ones are AF. Flutter with variable conduction and mat. The regular ones are sinus tachy, SVT, <coughs> flutter with a fixed conduction. Those are the six 
narrow complex tachycardia that you must know to be able to practice emergency medicine. Okay? Cool. So, what's this? Can, can you imagine how long it's taking you now to say AF? Narrow complex, irregularly irregular, tachycardia, no P waves. What's this? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> While this is a narrow complex, irregularly irregular tachycardia, but with P waves that I can count three different shapes from. So this is? While this is a narrow complex, irregularly irregular tachycardia, with flutter waves. While this is narrow complex, irregular rhythm, sometimes bratty, sometimes tacky, P waves are exactly the same. This is? <laughs> AF treat as normal AF. Rate control, rhythm control, and admit. MAT treat the cause, which can be COPD or heart failure. And do you treat MAT? Flutter, treat as AF. This? Sinus arrhythmia? Don't touch. Thank you. This is the second group of cases that I don't want you to mix and match.